The potential benefits that artificial intelligence technologies can have in many sectors is beyond any doubt. But it is also known that these technologies sometimes carry a risk with it, such as the risk of replicating certain biases and patterns that we may not want to see repeated again. Now, when thinking how these technologies can be applied to higher education institutions like universities, do you think this could help prevent the appearance of these biases and make education more fair and accessible for everyone? And if so, how? You have first class honors for questions. <laughs> um, it's ironic you're asking me about um, the risk of artificial intelligence because I explained to the rector earlier that I was uh, born in a medieval agrarian economy on a farm in the west of Ireland long before the digital age. So uh, I can't claim expertise, but I will say the following. Uh, there is a great risk of bias entering the algorithms because of the nature of the people who write algorithms. Uh, they tend to be white, Caucasian, middle class, and so on and so forth. So it is hugely important that the, that the programmers, the authors, are diverse in their nature. They've got to work very hard on that. There has to be a clear governance process, a very powerful governance process, uh, to ensure this diversity. Secondly, they must be, the members must be sensitized to these biases before they get to work. And thirdly, there must be extensive piloting and comparisons between the outcomes of the proposed algorithm and the judgments made on the same cohort of students by human experienced um, uh, adjudicators. As a physician, I'm a great believer in randomized controlled trials. And I think these algorithms should be subjected to randomized controlled trials in large populations. So this is going to be expensive, and it's going to take time, but it must be done well to avoid disaster. Yeah.